but catching good ones. Good job, boys. Myers Lodge here on Eagle Lake oh. in Ontario. Look at this fish. Look at this fish. Andy Myers in Livingston. What do you think, buddy? That's a combo, baby. Nice fish. All right, let her go. All right, guys. We're at Andy Myers Lodge with the man, the myth, the legend, Steve Herbeck. We put on an absolute clinic today with Livingston Wheelers. Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. That well, was fun fishing with you guys, that's for sure. Absolutely. Monster <clears throat> fish on the pounder. Talk about sort of the spot. What happened there with that, that big just bruiser up here at AML? Well, the wind was crashing into that reef, and uh, um, we were, you know, getting towards the evening. It was, you know, darker. Mm -hmm. The water was roiled up from all the storming um, today. And, you know, I've just found that in the past, you know, a jointed crankbait, especially this, you can see the edges of this, how this is clicking all the time. You can see the wear marks on it. It clicks and so it makes a lot of noise, a lot of vibration. And he picked it up right, she picked it up right away. You know, I mean, I only cranked it down three, four times and wham, bam, yeah. big fish. And we've been locating a ton of fish. What was it, 17, 18 yeah, fish? Yeah. Moving them on Titans, move some on the flipper just working it close to the reefs and the weeds and going there he is so we found the location of some of these hot fish and, and just working it in tandem so it's like a good combination of a dive and rise whether it be the flipper or the titan and you know a crankbait one thing a lot of people like when it comes to canada fishing right what what's some of the stuff especially like livingston stuff that they need to have on hand if you're coming up to andy myers for the first time well the you know 
Jerk baits are always a mainstay, particularly if you encounter a tough bite. There's nothing that'll move fish like a jerk bait. You know, mm -hmm. my two, I always say my two go-tos when fishing's really tough are jerk baits and rubber. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and right now the, the, the depths that we're fishing, you know what I mean? The jerk mm -hmm. baits are just a, a, you know, they're just a, an automatic go-to, you know? Right. And, uh, you know, a lot of times they'll, they'll bite them. If you don't, they're definitely awesome at bringing fish out to show you where they're at. Mm -hmm. You come back at a moonrise or a wind change or what have you, you know, and uh, and catch them. So, um, you know, jerk baits are, are a must have. Um, I love the joint crank baits when I'm fishing rocks. Mm -hmm. And then I also love them right towards evening. Mm -hmm. and, and real, like like what happened today. We had really dirty, roily water because of a bunch of storms mm -hmm. and, uh, and wind. And just a jointed crankbait really shines under conditions like that. And then one thing I'd say, and Tim grabbed the flipper there, so if you haven't seen them, the difference between these two dudes, the Titan and the flipper, because they go, why does Livingston have two different jerk baits? They're, Whereas, they're like night and day. So this is my baby, and that's your baby. Weeds, pockets, shallow shelves, right? Hang time, hang time, hang time. Or this is just a, a reef beast in my opinion Where it's they, more of a you know off the edge type and, a, and it's going to be a great bait for the fall for people that mm -hmm. really that really get down and dirty with it in the fall because it runs it, it's tough to fish in the weeds you know what i mean mm -hmm. if, if they're up high now it's great for fishing sand grass or or uh, you know like back home that deeper coontail that's mm -hmm. deadly for that but you know up here we're fishing a lot of rock edges ledges you know, uh, even humps that come up to 12, 18 feet. This thing goes, you know, you can get this thing down there, down there working down there for a jerk bait, pretty deep. Yeah, pretty deep, yeah. You know what I mean? Around. Now it's also available in a, in a lighter model for, you know, uh, for fish and shallow or that, but this is the one that I had the, my vision with, that, you know, for fishing the kind of stuff that we fish, you know, in midsummer through fall mm -hmm. up here in Canada and, you know, your deeper, clearer lakes up in, in mm -hmm. northern Wisconsin and Minnesota also. Or, Absolutely. Or anywhere. Your leeches, your right. lags. Yeah. And the one thing I'd say is this, because if, if you see some of the video clips or how lovely it is here at Andy Myers Lodge, the, the reason to come up here is not how, not just how lovely the lodge is and how well taken care of. Explain the difference. If, you, if you're a, a Lake of the Woods or you've been fishing Lake of the Woods to the size class that we saw today, a lot of and they're just left pretty much alone yeah and you know like the the difference between lake of the woods which is one of the best musky lakes in the mm -hmm. world no doubt and eagle lake i just think is the you know the average depth and weight weight of the fish um and the neat thing is is like you know like today we were in the section of the lake that has been very good um close to camp and we only had three or four fish going and it was noon and we just i just made a decision that we had to make a you know a major uh change and within 10 minutes we were in a different section of the lake fish where the fish whole different place. Where, where the fish behaved totally different a total different kind of lake in itself that section of the lake mm -hmm. and that's what makes the eagle so magic is and then there were some guys that went the other direction mm -hmm. up into the real clear water and they had a great spell of action mm -hmm. so you know it, it's just you have so much diversity right at your fingertips mm -hmm. you know within range you know at any given time you can yeah. say god I, you know sometimes it's just like what in northern wisconsin the guys that do really well in northern wisconsin it's because they know when to be where mm -hmm. through the multitude of different lakes right. well here you got it we in, don't got one lake in one lake magical day with steve herbeck thank you again mm -hmm. tim put in the work we got some done thank guys you. check it out andy myers lodge steve herbeck musky shop livingston lures gonna put a big musky in your net musky, musky shop, shop tv, TV.